Let's discuss how to insert data in IBM SPFS. The IBM SPFS data editor window contains two tabs over here. One is the data view and the other one is the variable view. So once you have your data, you could already key in your data over here. And make changes to the variable name type and measure. Okay, so what I have done was my students have, uh, my project students, they have helped me key in their experimental data. So I would, um, this data was keyed in in Microsoft Excel. I would simply copy the data. Right click and paste with variable names. Okay, so the data have been pasted together with the variable names. Now, I would have to make changes to the variable type and the measurement over here. So in SPSS, the two most used data types are numeric and string. String variables have values that are treated as text. For example, in my data, okay, the variable group was typed in text, HPSA and LPSA. The three other variables are numbers. So, um, the data type for numerical type of data would be numeric. And over here, we could set the decimal places of choice and click OK. So I'm happy with the variable type that has been uh, determined by SPSS for me. And now moving on to the labels over here, you could uh, type in a brief description of um, your variables okay so I am happy with group and gender but um, I would like to define RP emo as reaction time in the emotional condition The type of measures over here could either be nominal, ordinal, or scale. And we will discuss this in depth. The variables in SPSS is divided into continuous or discrete variables and categorical variables. Continuous or discrete type of variable would be quantitative data, which are either discrete or continuous. And this type of data comes under the scale measure. Now, categorical variables have value that fall into two or more categories. These are usually qualitative data and they are defined by whether the values or the categories have sequence that have meaning or whether the sequence of the categories have no meaning. 
ordinal type of measure, the data values that fall under this category are ordered and the sequence has meaning. For example, level of education could be either primary, secondary, college, university. The responses to a questionnaire could also be ordinal if the sequence of the values has meaning such as strongly disagree, disagree, agree and strongly agree. Level of uh, difficulty of questions is also another example of ordinal type of data where the answer could be very difficult or impossible, difficult and easy. Nominal type of uh, measure has sequence that has no meaning. For example, favorite color, gender, country of origin, type of books. These are nominal type of variable. The sequence for the variable group has no meaning and the type of measure is nominal. The Qualitative data gender with values 1 and 2. Now, the original value 1 is attributed to the male respondents and the value 2 to the female respondents uh, based on the original data set that has been recorded. And we could define the values by going to variable view go to values and variable name would be gender okay um, select the last over here value 1 would represent the male respondents and select plus again value 2 are for female respondents and click the type of measure for the variable gender has no sequence and so I would select this as nominal. Whereas um, reaction time um, are recorded in milliseconds, time would be continuous data and these are scale type of data. And uh, once we have defined the variable type and measure, we could already save the data by going to File, Save As, and select a suitable file name for your data.